Yes, we will. Good morning, all. Today is May 19th. So that makes it day 52. Day 52. How about that? Um, well, I said, you know, from yesterday, I said we had rain yesterday. We got to the shelter. There was one lady there. She had, she left, but then Cosmic and I forget the other girl's name. They came in. They should end up sharing a shelter with us. Uh, it was a busy night at the shelter. A lot of people came and tented. Um, it poured. And it poured and it poured. And I wasn't sure. Oh, I was convinced that we would still be sitting at the shelter waiting for the rain to stop. But about quarter to two or so, the rain came to a... a you know an end um, and you can't see it now because we're in one of these tunnels hold on yeah you can't see it now because like I said we're in a jungle tunnel but uh, but the, the Sun came out this morning uh, er everything is uh, drying up so oh, cobwebs um, so we're looking for a, a good morning we have a, a fun-filled packed day we have uh, yeah, if everything goes right, we should have uh, lots of uh, lots of stuff for you today. Don't spoil um, the surprise. I won't spoil the surprise. Surprises. There's lots of things. There's That's lots the of them. Thing. Yeah, we're looking also for a big mile day. It's uh, 17 and a half miles to the shelter we want to go to, um, <clears throat> uh, and there's a a big mountain in between. So. And it's so it's going to be a hard day, but we should have some uh, good video. And the reason we need to get to the, the 17 and a half mile shelter is because there is a bear at the next shelter that has figured out that hikers have food. They just uh, recently installed a bear box there, and somebody went two nights ago and went to use the bear box. And the bear was sitting there right at the box. And so he's already figured out that the food's in the box. So and we'll see how it goes. But we have high expectations for today. If by the end of the day you hear me grumbling, well, then you know it didn't go well. Alrighty, well, you can tell the amount of rain we had last night by how the water, water sources are flowing. And um, you're going to see quite a few of these throughout the day. This would normally be nothing more than a little trickle. Uh, not even enough to, maybe not even enough to fill your, your water bottle. Alright, we got a little spot where the sun is trying to find its way through. Like I said this green has thickened up quite quick. Yeah, first thing in the morning, it steps. Always steps. I get done with the trail. I'm never taking the steps again. I'm always taking the elevator. Alrighty guys, nothing uh... This is our first wildlife sighting of the day. And we are penned in bob wire here with a bunch of cows. I hope I don't see a bull. I hope you don't get offended. Moo. Okay, I don't know how it comes across on the camera, but this really does look like a scene from Lost. Uh, it's all jungle. We're kind of we're up in the mountain, uh, about probably maybe 3,500. So we are walking in a cloud or fog, depending on how you want to look at it. 
it's an eerie kind of a sensation. Okay, guys, here's the view we brought you up for. As you can see, uh, not much going on. Alrighty, guys, this is what's all along the trail. It's uh, and it's going to be this way for a couple of days until all that map water comes down off the mountain. We are still walking in a in a cloud in a fog. Um, we don't have any cell service, so we're not able to get the weather report. So we're kind of flying blind. Um, so just another fun day in the neighborhood. So we're busting a move, gonna get to that Thomas Knob shelter, the first shelter. That'll be at the highest point and uh, work our way to our own shelter, hopefully. Alrighty guys, here's the trail. That's always fun. Alrighty. In a little clearing here. Still not out of the woods yet. Um, and we have four and a half miles to the summit of Mount Rogers. And after that, and I've said it before and been wrong so many times, we should be downhill to our to our shelter, Y shelter. So but here we go. Four and a half miles. Alrighty. A little change of pace on our way to uh, the climb to Mount Roger. Look at all those beautiful flowers. Of course, some some would say that's a whole lot of pollen. Uh, I'm gonna trip and fall with you guys yet. Um, yep, kind of a different change of scenery. Like I said, we have a, a climb up to Mount Rogers coming up. It's a four and a half mile climb, but I think we're only going up somewhere about a thousand or fifteen hundred feet in elevation. We're currently back down at forty something, forty three. I think we're going up to. 57 and I may not have the facts exactly correct but I believe Mount Rogers uh, when we cross that point we will have crossed the highest point on the Appalachian Trail in Virginia so we can cross that off the bat so every other place should be lower there should be less altitude less climbing Climbing really, for the most part, until we get all the way back up into the whites, should be over Georgia and North Carolina with them. And while well, in Tennessee, they were the real mother load. We have some climbs in Virginia, but uh, I'm sure I'll curse them just as much as I've cursed the other ones. But uh, uh, there won't be any Blood Mountains or Mount Alberts or any of those that we've had. So. Alrighty guys, stay tuned, here we go. Okay guys, question for the day. See these big, I'll show you these 
boulder formations and I'm pretty sure I've taken pictures of them before. There's one with a, a tree sitting right on top of it. So my question is, it appears that these boulder formations are pushed up out of the ground. Um, that's just an observation from what I've just seen. That uh, you know, it, so the question is to the group: How do those boulder formations come up out of the ground? Uh, and speaking of those questions, uh, I didn't uh, get a chance to acknowledge it, but uh, Bob Winterton was the first one to cor correctly identify the blue and turquoise butterfly. I don't even recall the exact name of it, but Bob, hats off to you for taking the time to look that up. I appreciate it. But the question now is how do these big boulders get here? Do they push up out of the ground? And if so, what causes it? Okay guys, there haven't been many treats today. We've had some wild thunderstorms that have put us underground and it was just a miserable afternoon, but uh, here's one of our surprises for you. These are the wild horses of Graceland Highlands State Park. So, and I'm not gonna get too close to them because one of our buddies um, got kicked by one the other day. So. That's about as close as you're going to get, but uh, there you go. There's wild ponies.